Hello again. So I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I just gotten off of work and I wasn't even in the house a minute before the doorbell rang and it was the UPS guy and he was delivering a package for me and this was in it. So this is the HD video capture. Um, I had ordered this from eBay from uh, Digit Now, I believe was the brand that they had it under, but this is just one of those generic ones that have uh, all kinds of different um, names put on this uh, device. I did see the other one. I think it was AGK or APK. Um, that one was popping up a lot and a lot of people had some pretty decent reviews about it except for the mic. They said the mic doesn't work unless you're using component. This one supposedly works um, with HDMI, but we'll see. I did come across another video that actually was in English about this device, this exact device by the Tech Luchador. And amazingly enough, the video capture looked really good. So I was like, oh, wow, that looks amazing. But he said his mic didn't work at all. Like he tried several different types of mics and none of them worked. So I'm hoping that it was just like a faulty unit and we'll see. So I'm gonna open this up and get it all set up and I'm gonna start shooting some videos. Oh, why don't we open it up here on camera? I'm not really an unboxer, but why not? It's <laughs> right in front of me. We might as well just open it up. So there we go. This is the device. Let's check out the inputs on this device. Let me just take off the wrapper. I haven't opened it yet. This is the first time I'm opening this box. So let's see, there you go, HD capture. It feels very cheap, like very cheapy plastic. There you go, so HD video capture, full HD 1080p, um, connects to an HD TV, uses a USB thumbstick and mic. So this is it. So let's see what we have here, stop and start. We have, or stop and record. Uh, between 720 and 1080, um, on off. I'm assuming that's where you put the thumbstick or jump drive or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what this little light panel is for here. So the back of the unit is HDMI out and HDMI in, mic and DC. All right, so that's it. It's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty tiny. All right, now what else is in the box? Let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's your basic uh, power cable. Yeah, pretty basic. Wow, they actually include an HDMI cable. This is probably not a good one, <laughs> but hey, at least they include it. And uh, this is the card that they sent me. Did you now? Thank you. Free 18-month warranty. Ooh, that's cool. Sign up for it. Yeah, I should sign up for that. <laughs> and instructions. Oh, wow, that's a pretty thick instruction manual. Oh, no, it's not. Well, it's, it's okay. Probably different languages in here. Oh, yeah, right there. This is the English. Cool. And that's it. Oh, what is this little paper here? Picture display and this is we check whether the product video cable is connected correctly and also check whether the video source output is normal. If the above situation is normal after checking, please long press the on off button for 10 seconds. Then the video will display normally. Oh, that's good to know. Ah, cool. All right. So that's everything that was in the box. Um, I'm gonna set it up and then let's shoot some video and see how it comes out. This is only a test video for this um, and hopefully uh, it works good. I hope it works good. I'm gonna have to do some editing on my computer to stitch everything together. I don't know if it can transfer to my phone. That's mainly where I do all my editing is on my phone. I don't know why. My computer is seriously underpowered, so I don't do any editing on there. I do everything on my phone, um, but we'll see. I mean, maybe I'll upgrade my computer next. We'll see. Anyways, so I'm going to set it up and I'm going to post some vid. I'm going to stitch in some video here so you guys can see how it plays. Okay, before I show you guys any gameplay footage using this HD video capture, 
I just want you guys to know that I've been playing with it for about two hours. And the audio is really spotty. I don't know if it's the device itself or if it's my microphone. It's most likely my microphone because if I wiggle it, it works. It does not work with my headset. You get a very, very faint sound with your headsets. So that's a little unfortunate. So I had to dig up an old lavalier mic that I had or a lapel mic that I had laying around and hook it up to this. And that one seemed to work the best actually so far, but it's kind of the audio drops in and out. And I'm gonna play a little clip for you guys so you can hear what I mean right now. Number two, the audio did not come out. So we're just gonna see if the audio is working now. So yeah, there you go. You can hear it drop in and out. I believe that it was the microphone I was using. I don't think it was this at all. Uh, it just didn't work with the headset. And I also tried to plug in my professional wireless mics and it, it was weird. It had like a strange humming noise in the background and it just doesn't, it doesn't sound right. You get some audio, but the humming is so loud that it actually drowns out the sound that the HDMI is putting out. And it's maybe some kind of interference from something. I am kind of like in a small area working with this equipment and it could be just like interference with the other wires and stuff like that. But um, other than that, I got the best results with that small little lapel mic that I had. Just plugged straight into there, straight into the mic. And that seemed to work the best so far out of everything I tried. So I tried my headset, it didn't work. Tried the lapel mic and it worked fine. Um, except the audio is drop dipping in and out. Um, I did do another video with the lapel mic. I had taped it to one of my mic stands because I don't have a clip for it anymore. The clip is broken. And when it was stationary and not being wiggled around or moved because I had it um, taped to my shirt when I was making that video, the one that you guys just watched, it was taped to my shirt and I was moving around talking with my hands like I'm kind of doing now and I think that's what was causing the audio to go in and out and yeah so I tried my wireless system the wireless system did not work I tried the wireless system with a wired connection into it because you can do that as well and that had no res like there was nothing there was no sound nothing coming out of it so yeah this thing is a little fickle I don't know if it's this or the mic. I'm pretty sure it was the mic that I was using. And I don't have any other microphones to test it. I don't have any 3.5 microphones. Any other 3.5 microphones to test. Everything is the 6.3 um, millimeter. So, yeah. Other than that, so far so good, I guess, with the video testing. But not so good with the audio on this thing. Uh, so, what after hour and a half of trying I decided just to shoot straight video and not do any audio so I'm gonna play that video now and I'm gonna do a voiceover um, just trying that out and see if see if I can get it to sync okay we're gonna try something a little different I'm not having very great success with the HD video capture so I decided to pre-record the video and do a voiceover in this video, I just want to show off a couple of my new shiny Pokemon. So the first one we're going to see is Lucario. Lucario was actually a pretty easy hatch to get a shiny. It was only about 33 eggs in and I got one. And I believe my Lucario that I have in there now is a perfect IV. And I'm using a Japanese Ditto, 5 IV Ditto. And it seemed to work out great. I got this guy right here. His stats are pretty good. He has amazing stats. Um, I can't remember what they are off the top of my head, so um, I believe the only ones that are uh, low are his HP and I think his special defense. His special defense was uh, very good and I think his speed was very good, but the rest of them were at best. 
So now the second Pokemon that we're going to look at is going to be my shiny Noivern. Now Noivern was a headache. It was a real headache to get. And it took me a couple of, it took me about a week to do this, to get this shiny Noivern. And I tried to hatch one using the Masuda method, but it wasn't working for me. I must have done 55 boxes. I counted. I was writing it down because after like 20 boxes of not getting a, sh a shiny Noivat, I decided to like keep track. And I had to release Pokemon because you're only allowed so many boxes in this game. And I had to release like all my boxes and then start over. But yeah, so 55 boxes and I was unsuccessful breeding a shiny Noivern. And I do partly blame it on Joy-Con Drift because there was a couple of times where I would go to pick up an egg and the Joy-Con would drift down and it would select the do not want for the egg. It happened about four or five times. But anyways, I got my shiny Noivern by actually just like giving up on trying to hatch it and going to the Lake of Rage and just grinding it out. Just grinding it out. So I caught about maybe like 350 maybe more uh noivern i'm not sure what i'm at now and shortly after that i got the shiny which i'm i was super happy about i was like oh my god this was a lot easier than trying to do the stupid egg method i think this took me it took me like maybe two or three hours to catch this guy and the egg method took a week Okay, I think I finally found a working microphone. Uh, hopefully this is working. <laughs> I forgot I had one more mic to test, and I think I'll show it to you guys before. <laughs> Instead of uh, telling you what it is now. It's pretty funny. But yeah, so anyways, this is just going to be the last test video I do for the night. This is the 32nd video. I think I'm recording on this SD card that I have or this uh this thumb drive that I have. So, yeah, hopefully this microphone is working and hopefully it sounds good. Okay, so <laughs> I told you guys I would show you the microphone before I told you what it was. So, this is it. <laughs> this is my daughter's Bluetooth Kadoeke microphone that she got for Christmas uh, last year, I believe it was, or the year before last, and she loves this thing. She uses it all the time, and I was just kind of in my room thinking about it. I was like, I got to have another microphone somewhere, and sure enough, here we go. And you know what? The audio quality on that one wasn't that great, but it was better than nothing. You know, it actually worked, so it does prove that it was my lapel mic that was bad and all the other stuff the the maybe the the wireless system was a little too powerful for the hd capture device itself and it was just causing major interference causing a really weird buzzing noise in the background i know notice on my videos that the audio is kind of low for the game itself that's because in a couple of the earlier videos that I did, the audio was so loud that you could hear me talking, but you couldn't understand what I was saying. So I went in game and I turned the audio down to two. Maybe it was a little too low because you can't really hear anything like you just barely hear it. So maybe I'll bump it up a little bit the next video that I do and I'll use this mic for the video capture. But all in all, I'm pretty happy now after this is like hour number four of me messing around with this stuff it's getting pretty late here i gotta go to bed i still gotta pick up my girls from school tomorrow and do some errands in the morning before i get started but yeah so this little microphone was the saving grace of this video <laughs> it made me really appreciate the hd video capture that much more so now that i know that it's working with a microphone I can honestly say that it is worth the $60 that I did pay for it. And yeah, so if you guys see this on eBay, you should pick it up. I think it's worth it. It's not like the top of the line, but you can see the video quality. Um, 
like I said earlier in the video, I don't do any editing or uploading from my computer. Everything is done on my phone and I have the iPhone 8. So the video quality is going to be lower and I only upload in 720p. I don't upload in 1080 or 4K. So the video quality is going to be lower from what you see. Um, on my videos is going to be lower than what you would get if you actually had a computer that could handle the editing. So yeah, so HD video capture by DigiNow from the Digi Shop is what it's called on eBay. And 60 bucks shipped. It took a couple days to get here, maybe about three or four days. Uh, I did order it four days prior to that and they said that oh we're so sorry about the shipping we're going to ship it out now to you express shipping so if there wasn't an issue with uh shipping i'm sure it could get to you guys within like three or four days wherever you are now remember i'm in hawaii so things take forever to get here even through ebay and even through amazon like amazon does not have one day shipping here uh, sometimes you'll be lucky and come across one where they can do overnight but you're gonna pay even with Amazon Prime, you're going to pay a lot living in Hawaii for one day shipping or overnight shipping. It's crazy. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video today. So you guys have a wonderful day.